how to create your sculptures. Begin by warming up your clay in your hands. And the goal here is to make a form that will create interesting shadow shapes and interesting light shapes. So avoid making something that's overly flat. Here are some examples of some warm-up sculptures that are making really interesting shapes and that could lead to a really cool drawing. However, they wouldn't be great to bake. The reason is that there's parts of it that are really thick, other parts that are thinner, and if I put that in the oven, it's likely going to break apart as the smaller parts start to harden faster than the thicker parts. If you want to create a sculpture to bake and that will last, you'll want to create an aluminum foil armature that will go on the inside of the sculpture. You can take the foil and mold it into interesting shapes. Continue adding layers of foil to areas that you want to bulk out. Think of the aluminum foil like a skeleton. Once you like the shape, begin adding layers of clay. Take your clay, flatten it out, and begin layering it onto the foil armature. You want the layers of clay to be approximately a fourth of an inch thick. You can flatten your clay between your hands or roll it out with a jar. Creating an armature also means you can create a more complex shape because the clay has an internal support. Add interesting textures to your sculpture. Again, think of ways to make intriguing shadows. If you want to create a crater-like form, begin by adding a little more clay in that spot and then press with a clay tool or pencil to form a crater. Once your sculpture is at a point that you like it, Go ahead and check the surface, make sure none of that aluminum foil is poking through. So you want all of this to be covered in a layer of your sculpting. You can also smooth out the surface if you want it to be smoother, you can go and do that with your fingers. The warmth of your skin against the clay is going to help to smooth that out. So you can go through that kind of gesture and smooth it out. You could also add some surface um, textures using things like a knife or a fork if you want to even be drawing on the surface you can do that. Once you're ready to bake it you're going to bake it at 275 degrees remember to let your oven preheat first to 275 and you'll bake a small sculpture like this for 15 minutes. Be careful not to over bake your sculptures it will produce uh, a toxic toxic stuff that you don't want to breathe in, so be sure to set a timer for yourself, only 15 minutes.